Hello and welcome to the chapter data handling. This is the part six of this particular chapter. I hope that you have watched the other parts of this chapter. If not, you can always check out the links are given in the description. So today's topic of discussion is operator precedence and associativity in Python. Okay, so without any further ado, let's go on with the topic. So what do we mean by operator precedence? So see in Python, there are various operators, but if more than one operators are used together, which operator will be done first, which operator will be done second, that decision is done with the help of the concept of operator precedence. So operator precedence is used to denote the order of execution of operators in an expression or statement. That means in which order the execution will be done, which operators uh, work will be done first, which operators work will be done second, which operators work will be done third, that is denoted, that is defined with the help of operator precedence. Okay, so let's see the operators and their precedence. So the first precedence is of the first bracket which is known as parenthesis. Next up is the priority of order exponentiation operator. Thirdly, we have this bitwise complement operator. After that, unary plus and unary minus both of these has the same priority next multiplication division flow division and remainder division has the same priority next up plus and minus has the same priority next and operator bitwise and operator has the next priority then bitwise or then bitwise or and then we have the relational operators and the identity operators then we have the NOT operator, which is the Boolean NOT. Next, we have the AND operator. And finally, we have the Boolean OR operator. So the priority, the, an operator which is above has a higher priority and the operator which is below has a lower priority. So the order is from top to bottom. If an operator is at the top, then it has a higher priority. If an operator is at the towards the bottom, then it has a lower priority. So while comparing two operators, you should check which operator is located at the top. Whatever operator will be located at the top, it will have a higher priority and the bottom operator will have a lower priority. And those operators which are written in the same line, they have the same priority. Now, what to do in case of same priority will come to the rules in the next slide. So, next we come to the concept of associativity. What is associativity? It is defined as the order in which an expression is evaluated. Order means which operator is first, which is second, which is third. That, that order is uh, denoted by associativity. Okay. So, what are the rules for the associativity of operators? In case of multiple operators with the same precedence, we saw the uh, operators precedence in the previous slide. If we have more than one operators with the same precedence, then the associativity of operators is from left to right. But if we have the exponentiation operator, in case of exponentiation operator, which is the double star, the associativity is from right to left. Okay, so if you have more than one operators of the same priority, whatever operator will be towards the left, that will be done at the first and so on. But in case of exponentiation operator, the associativity operator of operators is from right to left. For example, if I do 7 into 8 divided by 5, flow division 2 will get the answer as 5.0. Now let's see why we are getting the result as 5.0 and not anything else. So what was the question? The question is your, if you can just see here, 7 into 8 divided by 5 flow division 2. So I'll just write the question here. I'll just show how Python interprets it. 7 into 8 divided by 5 flow division 2. I'll not say the meanings of these operators because I have already discussed it in one of the previous parts. So here, if you can just look at the operator precedence table, this uh, multiplication, division and flow division, all these three has the same precedence. Multiplication, division and flow division, all these has the same precedence. So if the operators has the same precedence, then we will move from left to right. 
okay so moving from the left what we get 7 into 8 it is 56 divided by 5 floor division 2 next we'll do 56 divided by 5 what is 56 divided by 5 if you can just do the division here we'll get 1 6 5 so 1 1 0 point here we'll get how much 2 so we are getting 11.2 floor division 2 so if you divide 11.2 by 2 what you will get you will get here 5 and here 5.6 but this is the flow division operator what a flow division operator does a flow division operator truncates the part after the decimal so the answer we have got is 5.6 but what is the part after the decimal point it is 0.6 so 0.6 will be ignored so we'll get the answer as how much we'll get the answer as 5.0 so let's verify it in the python programming language so our question was 7 into 8 divided by 5 flow division 2 if i press enter key i'm getting the result as how much i'm getting the result as 5 let's go to the next example the next example is 7 into 8 divided by 5 mod uh, flow division 2 the, uh, the this numbers are same but here we have some brackets let's try to interpret it and let's try to see how python interprets this thing so the question is 7 into 8 5 floor division 2 the question is same but here we have bracket here here and here now if you just look at the operator precedence table now brackets or the parenthesis has the highest priority so if there are any other operators also we have to do the work of brackets first and going by that rule we will go with the innermost bracket which is the innermost innermost bracket this is the part of the innermost bracket so we'll be solving this part at the very beginning okay so going by that what we'll get seven don't touch the other parts eight divided by uh, here yeah what we'll get 5 divided by 2 we will get 2.5 but this is the flow division operator will get 2.5 if we divide 5 by 2 but here i am using the flow division operator so point will be ignored so i'll get 2.0 as the result here okay so here what i'll get 2 now so this bracket should be removed here so now what we'll get 8 into now this is the brackets part so which has a higher priority therefore we'll divide 8 by 2 which uh, from where we'll get how much we'll get 4 so 7 into 4 it is how much 28.0 okay so let's verify it in the python programming language so if i write 7 into 8 divided by bracket start 5 modulo divide 2 we are getting the result as 28 okay let's go to our next example which is we have the same numbers but now the brackets are in again they are in different positions so let's try to do that so now what is the question now the question is the same but just the brackets will be in different position now so we have three brackets here 7 into 8 divided by 5 floor division 2 here we'll start with the innermost bracket 7 into 8 7 into 8 is your 56 so now we'll be left with just two brackets divided by 5 floor division 2 so now we'll be solving this part 56 divided by 5 if we divide 56 by 5 we have done in one of the previous problems we got the result as 11.2 this is the normal quotient division so uh, normal division so we'll take the complete answer which is 11.2 flow division 2 if we divide uh, like 11.2 by 2 we'll get how much 5.6 but since this is the flow division we'll be taking only 5 so the final result will be how much the final result will be 5.0 okay so let's go and verify it in the python programming language so 
what will give three brackets 7 into 8 then divided by 5 then bracket close then floor division 2 then again we'll cl close the bracket and press the enter key we're getting the result as how much we're getting the result as 5 now let's go to the next example which says here will be we are using the exponentiation operator 3 into into 3 into into 2 before going to the uh, so going to solve this uh, particular sum will remind ourselves this rule which says in case of exponentiation the associativity is from right to left that means now we'll be moving from to from the right and go towards the left okay now let's go and solve this particular problem so what we have we have 3 into into which is the exponentiation operator all of us know what exponentiation is exponentiation means power so since this is the exponentiation operator so the precedence will be from right to left so if we come from right to left by that logic at first we have to solve these parts okay so if we solve these parts we'll get how much 3 into into this means what this means 3 to d power 2 which is 9 so now we have 3 into into 9 3 into into 9 means what 3 to d power 9 you can just check it with the help of a calculator so the answer that we'll get is 19683 it will be long so i'm not going to the calculation part you can just verify it 3 to d power 9 is 19683 the thing to remember here is that if we have an exponentiation operator the precedence will be from right to left and not left to right if there are multiple exponentiation operators so let's verify it in the python programming language so we have 3 into into 3 into into 2 and let's press the enter key so we are getting the result as 19683 which is 19683 hence we have verified it Let's go to our next problem, which is we have the same set of numbers, but now the brackets are, are in different positions. Okay, so let's do it. Now, as you know that brackets, so if I just go to this particular precedent chart, brackets has a higher priority than exponentiation operator. So if we have a bracket, it will be overruled by the exponentiation operator. So let's solve it we have 3 into into 3 into into 2 we have a bracket here so this part will be done at first so 3 into into 3 to the power 2 is how much 9 so 3 into into 9 we have already got it it is 19683 okay so let's go and verify it in python so now 3 into into if i give 3 into into 2 and press the enter key we are getting the result as 19683 so here you can verify it from here we are getting as 19683 okay so let's move on to the next problem which is the same set of numbers but now the brackets are in the first two digits okay so let's go and solve it so now we have bracket 3 into into 3 then bracket close now we have into into 2 as you know that the priority of brackets is higher as compared to the exponentiation operator so now we cannot go from right to left we have to go as per the parenthesis or as per the brackets so here we have to do 3 to the power 3 3 to the power 3 all of us know it is how much it is 27 so we'll be having 27 into into so it means what it means 27 to the power 2 which is 729 so now let's go and verify it in python so upon verification we'll get 3 into into 3 into into 2 and we are getting the result as how much we are getting the result as 729 okay so let's go to the last example which is 7 into 8 divided by 5 modulo uh, this is floor division 2 we have the same set of numbers as the first three examples but now also the brackets will be in different positions so let's go and solve this particular problem okay so yeah let's go and solve this solve it okay just a minute
okay so here the numbers are same but now the positions are in different positions so let's go and solve it okay just a second yeah so we have 7 into 8 divided by 5 into into 2 this this is the question so here we'll do the work of brackets at the very beginning so we'll do 7 into 8 divided by 5 if we divide so we can just divide it we'll get how much 1 30 so we'll get 0.6 so we are getting 1.6 this is the normal division so we'll have to take everything even the fractional part so but these brackets will now go away okay 1.6 flow division uh, this one not flow division yeah flow division 2 so now if i do like 1.6 flow division 2 so 1.6 flow division 2 if i do it i'll get how much i'll get here 0 0.8 but since I am using the flow division, the part after the decimal point will be ignored. So, what will be our answer? The answer here will be 0. So, now we will get 7 into 0. 7 into 0 is 0. So, we will get the final answer as how much? We will get the final answer as 0, 0.0. Okay. Now, let us go and verify it in Python. We have 7 into bracket start again bracket start 8 divided by 5 close the bracket flow division 2 and again we'll close the bracket we're getting the answer as 0 if you can just verify it from here we have got the answer as 0 okay so that's all about operator precedence and associativity i hope that you like the session i'll see you again with the next part thank you